Hey, check this out. Kids go home tomorrow. House finna be quiet as a bitch, man. So f it. Boosty badass is back, man. All go pool party. All go piss pool party. And I f mean it, man. This third. We finna turn up, man. F all that, man. I gotta enjoy my mother life, man. <laughs> all go piss pool party. I'm about to be all up in the go piss party. Y'all better hurry up and get y'all tickets. Send pictures of your piss, and it better be dark. It better be gold, man. Piss pool party at Boosie Estate. Invites only, man. Invites only. Hit my DM, man. All go. at the Flamingo Bar Theater. Grab your tickets, doors open at 6.30 p.m. and seats are first come first served within your ticket tier. And if you think I cut up on this here internet, you ain't ready for the shit that's about to go down live on stage. Scan the QR code or get your tickets using the link below. The winos are toasting up in Miami. All right, Sexy Red, let's get it. First of all, Sexy Red says, um, she made a whole video. As a matter of fact, let me pull up. Let me see if I can pull up this video. <laughs> and she had the audacity to say, oh, anything for shock value. Oh, I just, I just wish they would just focus on the music um, and not, you know, BV and their trichinomus and all these other things and black dirty feet. And, you know, I just wish they would just focus on the music, you know? On the music. But let me see if I can pull up this video where she's upset. Is she upset? I can't figure it. I can't find it. But there's a video and she's talking about, she's literally going in on a user talking about don't call me by my first name. I believe her first name is Janae. Because people are refusing to call her sexy. So she's angry that they won't call her sexy and, and they don't have the right to call her by Janae because they don't know her. By the way, I'm drinking the Oyster Bay Sauvignon Blanc for this, this show's episode, okay? For this bootleg episode. Don't it look like a bootleg? You know, back in the day, they used to sell them DVDs and shit. That's how we live right now, bootleg style. Buffering, you know what I'm saying? VCR eating the tape. I like these type of shows, you know what I'm saying? We'll do them more often and shit like that when I'm when I'm traveling, because I'm going to be doing a whole lot of traveling for the next few weeks, and y'all going to be getting a lot of these shows, okay? Don't complain, because I, I can easily take off. But I said, no, nah, I'm going to give you the show. I can still work. So I just carve it out in my schedule. I, can, I can't do no work between this hour, because I got to work, work, you know? But, because people are refusing to call her sexy, and she she's angry about that. You know, and I'm like, I don't know, understand why you're angry. Like, that's your first name. You know, it's kind of like how, you know, the LGBTQ gets upset when you don't, you know, address them as their 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 rightful uh, pronoun, you know. But um, and interesting enough for her to say that, you know, also. 
um, condoms, she don't, you know, she's, she's the raw dog queen and condoms make her, I don't know if she was saying make her smell like fish, but they smell like fish when she use them. That's what she say. They smell like fish when she use them. Now, This is where I, I have to, I'm going to start putting her mama up on the screen because I realize we need to have a conversation with her mama. Because, And I know her mama's a whiner. We've had conversations in the DM, but as a mother, as a mother, this is giving you didn't do your job. You know, it's sort of like, you know, we as little girls, I remember the most uncomfortable moment for me when I was about, 13, my mama had to teach me how to clean myself, right? And I remember she made me get down on the floor and open my legs. And, you know, that I, I, it, to me, I was like, this is a violation. What are you doing, Lynette? Lynette said, lay down. And I remember I had to lay down on the bathroom floor. And when she opened it up, it had lint, cotton, all types of stuff up in there. She was like, oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. I was like, what? I couldn't see it. I didn't know I had just hit puberty. You know, I didn't, I had no idea. She was like, uh-uh. And she had three girls. She said, baby, you this is not what it's supposed to look like. Because I was a I was a virgin, right? And when you a virgin, you scared to go up in there. You just told you don't go up in there. You don't, you don't scrape past it. You afraid it's gonna hurt, it's gonna bleed. So I would only wash the outside. And then she finally was like. Uh, no. So she went down in there and I'll never forget. She got baby wife. She got all types of shit. And she showed me how to clean myself. My mother, my mother, I was so mad at her at that moment, but now I thank her. I thank her because I did the same thing to my daughter. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yeah. I did. I, I, it was like, it was a moment. Like, were you, these are the moments where your mother is supposed to step in. And she told me what your, you know, what the secretion, the discharge is supposed to look like. You know, what it's supposed to smell like down there. What it's supposed to uh, uh, feel like. My mama really, really got in me and did that. And, I, you know, as a teenager, you're ashamed. You don't want to hear that. you like, uh-uh, no. But now I remember that because it was so dramatic. And she even told me when you begin to have sex, because I remember she had put me on birth control because she was just like, listen, I work all the time. You know, this is not only going to help with your period, but in case you, you know, you want to get out here and have sex because I started having sex early. You know, my mom was just that type of way. I'm going to put you on some birth control. You know, she told me what what to look like. This is not normal if your vagina smell like this. And if the little boy smell like this, if his semen smell like this, like there were certain things you were able to identify. So the fact that this 25 year old grown woman with a child and a son who is going to be having relations with women one day doesn't understand that it's not the rubber that smells like fish. I have to address the mother and I should have had the mother on the screen. Yeah. I should have had the mother on the screen. Baby girl, that's not the rubber. It smells like latex. And if anybody is out there and I've seen a few young girls in the comments say, well, they do make me smell like fish. That's because your pH balance is off. And you have a long-term infection because you can walk around with BV for a while. I knew a chick that had BV the entire time. Listen, she had BV before she went to jail. They didn't treat it while she was in jail. The girl was in jail three years. She came out smelling like she still had because it. That's when women start getting them strong, you know, really fishy smells down there and that's from not using condoms and bragging about not using condoms and you and your baby daddy having sex outside and then he gonna have sex with somebody else that ain't using condoms ain't no telling who she having sex with you know what i'm saying and y'all think it's cute 
to go in your but in your in your buttholes and then from your butthole to your vagina and then now you mad at the condom like the condom has something to do with all that there the audacity for me if i was the condom maker i would sue your ass i would sue you the fact that you got up there and tried to even come for my brand and my ip i would sue you for the little cash you got flop that little dirty cash you putting on that broke out open poured skin knowing cash is dirty it's the nastiest thing Besides feet and under your nails and you got it on your face all the time. And that's why you broke out round the face. But they continuously letting these young girls put this rap music into the community along with this whole culture and then want to try to educate. And then the whole time you making your mammy look like she didn't do a job because she didn't. She should have told you what it smelled like, what it looked like. If the discharge is running fast, you know, you, you, you know, if you done been burnt before, I was burnt at 18. That discharge run down like water. And you got panel line after panel line, you think, well, what is it? It's just uh, my period about to come on. No, you burned. You're burned. You're burned. And I was able to identify that because my mammy was mammying. Mm -hmm. My mammy was mammying. Mm, 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 mm. But you know, but this is this is the whole culture. But I just know that my child ain't finna see this clip cross social media and, and take this in and think because you know they stupid. You know, young girls are stupid nowadays. They ain't nobody spending time with their parents like that. They in another room. They on social media. Parents out on social media. You know what I'm saying? Doing doing everything else but educating your child, and you letting this one educate your damn child. And then before you know it, you're about going to have a damn hysterectomy by the time you're 30 and can't have no more children because you don't let that BV, that fish smell go unchecked. But you know, they want to come for me. Oh, she's a hater. Oh, yeah. I hate being burnt. I hate when people promote, you know, not using condoms and, you know, shit like that. Yeah, and holism. That's what I hate. Mm-hmm. It ain't nothing cute about that. Nothing cute about that. Nothing cute about skipping your dermatologist appointment or gynecologist appointment, okay? Nothing cute about that at all. Moving on.